After living in Germany as Americans for two years, we have yet to take the train for a long distance trip. We've only used the regional trains for shorter trips around our region. So in this video, we are taking you along with us as we ride our first long distance train from the Southern Alpine border of Germany all the way to Cologne for the 200th anniversary of Carnival. We ride the ICE and the Eurocity train. And as you'll see, it didn't exactly go as planned since we're total newbies to this. We hit a few problems along the way. So hallo zusammen. For those of you who are new here, we are the McFalls, a family of six with four kids, a cat and two hamsters who moved from the USA to Germany in February of 2021, which was two years ago. We share our adventures with you here on this channel as foreigners living in Germany and all that encompasses. All right, guys, so you can see we're still at home. We haven't left quite yet. We've got to get on the train in about 20 minutes to head to Cologne. And it is our first long haul journey on the trains in Germany. We live in the southern tip of Germany, so it's an eight hour journey with layovers. We've never ridden on the ICE before, so I'm excited to, to get to try that out. However, at the same time nervous because with four kids, we end up having a lot of stuff and you sometimes have to help, especially younger kids, carry their things. So that's why oftentimes it's easier for us to just drive and then we don't have to worry about, you know, telling our kids they can't bring their favorite stuffed animals and toys and things like that. So they can have their comfort things when we drive. We can't always do that when we go by train. We have to pack really light. So we will let you know by the end of this trip if we think the train journey was worth it or not and if we would do it again. But of course we love traveling by train. I'm so glad we have this option here in Germany and all over Europe because it's just not a thing in the US. And it's so nice to not, we're not gonna have to worry about navigation. We're not gonna have to worry about traffic, accidents. It's so much safer and very comfortable. You know, I get car sick, all of my children get car sick. So it's gonna be nice to be able to just like, I'm gonna crochet, I can read, I can do all those things on a train and not get motion sickness. So there's huge benefits, I think, to riding by train, except for the luggage part. <laughs> so we'll see. All right, so I left my phone at home and Kevin's running back to go get it because he had to drive the car here with all of our stuff in it, drive the car back to our house. So now he had ran here. I, I couldn't tell him I lost my phone because I didn't have my phone. So he had to come here, run back and come back. So, all right. Total disaster. <laughs> So it's already stressful riding by train. It's not and starting off well. seven minutes. Okay. Until the train comes. He's probably already running. Kevin's back. pretty amazing. He'll, he'll, he'll be here. We'll keep you posted. You made it, Kevin. Yes, you I made it. Phone. The phone is here. Everything's good. <laughs> we have a few minutes to spare. So no problem. <sighs> a little sweaty, but that's all right. I hope the rest of the trip isn't like this. <laughs> It'll go smoothly, I think. Ella, did we make it on the first train? Yes, now we just have three it's more trains to go. Three more trains to go. And our train is almost here. Yes. So we're gonna spend Yay! five hours on this train. Nice, so good. Five hours. And then, but we can relax, right? Yeah, we've got decks of cards, we've got games, we've got movies. It'll be we a got, nice and relaxing we got trip. internet or we can stream something. Internet. All right, here's our train. So we got on at the wrong car, and we're having to walk like four different trains, cars to get to our stop. I mean, to get to our seat, it's not for a stop. It's a little stressful. Because <laughs> we don't really know what we're doing. But uh, we'll get there eventually. We're still walking. <laughs> We weren't able to reserve our seats, but we got lucky, I guess. Yep. We're so excited. All right, so here we are, nice and comfy in our little couchette. Uh, 
We did have to walk a little ways to get here though. We got on the train five cars off. I was looking on the, I thought I was all smart and I was looked on the board to try and find where wagon eight was gonna be, which led her on the platform. And I went where it said, but that was not our car. So we had to walk with all of our stuff, all of our luggage, everything through uh, five cars to get here. Um, but at least now we're nice and comfy. We've got our own space. Uh, it's very nice. So we got a nice five hour trip here ahead of us. And I think we're I don't comfortable. Think five hours is nice. So this train reminds okay, you of the Hogwarts so train, Grayson? Yes, it, because of like the, the hallway and then on, on one of the sides there's like a room and it looks like basically exactly like this and it looks cool. It is really cool. We so when Kevin booked the tickets, he wasn't able to choose the seats and we booked them like three months ago because we heard that if you don't book them in advance that the prices go up. Our good friend Christian, who we're meeting up with, told us that. So we weren't sure where we were sitting. We had no idea. And we're so really happy that we've got our whole own cabin. But since there's six of us, maybe when you book six people all together, they give you the nice little family cabin. But I've always wanted to ride on one of these. And it's gonna be very comfortable. And we're here for five hours, so. All right, so this is why you ride trains. <laughs> I'm gonna crochet and listen to an audiobook. This is nice. All right, so we're underway. We're Unterwegs. See, I was thinking about it in German. <laughs> we are <laughs> using <laughs> Unterwegs. And uh, I was like, Kevin, how much did this cost? And yeah, how much should we pay? 230 euros for all six of us, both yeah, directions. Yeah, for six people's two directions, yeah, nice really fast good. trains, good seats. Yeah. Well, at least right now it's good seats. We think all the way back we're in the main car with all the regular riffraff. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then 10 more dollars for the Capri Suns. Yeah, we brought a bunch of food. Kevin did yep. actually. Kevin carried all the food and drinks. Yep, keep the kids happy. Yeah, we just made it to Munich. We've got a quite a lot longer, still, still four more hours I think, right? But yeah. Anyway, but yeah, Kevin's thinking about going to get a beer because when he's driving, he can't ever drink a beer. But when you're on a train, on a long distance train, you, you have a dining car. Yep. So I might try and record it, but you know, Germans are very private about being recorded. <laughs> and I understand that, but uh, I might not be able to record the dining car because people, they give you the stare down, the German stare. Why is that thing out? <laughs> anyway, okay. So we got our beers, huh? We got our beer, no vice beer glass uh, and our seats, but uh, we could have had that if we sat down in the bistro car, but yeah. it's fine. Tons of people on the train. They got up at Munich. Oh. Can I beat that? Or go for it. As you can see, the car is empty. Everyone is in the dining car. Another benefit of long distance trains. I'm alone right now. <laughs> 
everyone went to go get a little snack. And then on the the next train we have, which is a Eurostar train, they have an actual restaurant. This is just a little bistro. So I hope to show you more of what you can eat at the restaurant. And I'm sure it'll probably be good food. Germany always serves high quality food. Okay, maybe not always. Maybe that's too much of an exaggeration, but yeah, I mean, they, they serve pretty good food. So anyway, totally enjoying our train trip so far. Ooh, Ella, you got a little snack, huh? Uh huh. So far, riding on the train is a success, huh? Uh huh. Well, I only care about the fries, though. We have been here for <laughs> five hours. Not yet. But yeah, we will be on the train for five hours. Well, we got moved. I feel a little gypped. The air conditioning was not working in our car, so they made us move, and now we're just in the regular seats. And we're not all together. I was disappointed at first. How often does this happen, guys, on the trains? The air conditioning goes out, yeah, I don't know, it's probably not so comfortable. Silver lining was is the internet was not working where we were, and here it is, so the kids yeah. can stream things. So that's one benefit. But yeah, yeah, well, we can got, stream things too. You're doing Babel yeah. right now. Yeah, I'm doing the German lessons. Kevin's doing his German lessons. I'm listening to an audio book, but I'm about to do my German lessons and study for my driver's license. We've only got 50 minutes left. 50? Oh, yeah. that's it. Yeah, and we change trains. And where are we changing trains? Darmstadt. Oh yeah, Darmstadt. Okay, so, yeah, we were quite disappointed at first, but you just have to get over it eventually, or you stay miserable, so <laughs> you move on. And all the kids are happier, so. All right, that's our update for now. Okay, we just got on the ICE. It's our first time mm -hmm. on an ICE. The tables are nice and big. See that? This is not fast. It's not fast. The tables are nice and big. It's comfortable. Yep. Nice so far. We've got an hour and a half. And then we arrive in Cologne. We've already seen lots of people in the mines station dressed in their costumes. Everybody was in costumes. So it's going to be so fun to wander around Cologne and see like all the creative costumes and just, just have fun. <laughs> Yay! Okay guys, we got a bunch of different things so we can share or whatever. So where can I put my long way? I don't know, is it right in there? Okay, so we got What do you think of the food? It's not bad. It's reasonably good. Very versed in chili. chili. They had no palmas. Oh yeah, it's pretty good. I got this Italian salad, and it's not very good. Ella got the pasta bolognese. It's very basic. Good enough for kids. You don't like it? Okay, thumbs down. Yeah, the food's kind of blah. I'm not impressed. All right, so we're almost <coughs> to Cologne. Yeah. So we thought we'd wrap up this video and tell you what we think. We're, of course, going to take the train all the way back, too. Maybe we'll have more to add, but probably not. But, yeah. It's nice. So would you do it again? Yeah, for sure. I'd do it again. Yeah? Yeah. You can drink a beer instead of having to drive. Don't have to get don't get stuck in traffic. Um, yeah. yeah. Overall, it's good. I mean, it's nice. We're going somewhere to a city where we don't need a car, so there's no point in having the car when we get there. Yeah. So that makes a difference in like, you know, if we're going to the mountains or somewhere, it's nice to have the car so you can get around, but. Yeah, it depends on your destination. If you need a car when you get there and you can drive, then it's kind of better to have the car. Yeah. Especially for six people. The kids were able to, you know, get up and go use the restroom whenever they needed, and we could get food um, in the cars, which is so nice. And we all deal with car sickness, so we didn't have to deal with that. I was able to get other things done that I normally would never be able to get done because of car sickness. So, right. 
I felt more productive on the trip, which was nice. So yeah, we'll do it again if we're going to a city. Sure. Or a place we don't need our car. Yeah, so. absolutely. Uh, one complaint though is the bathrooms are nasty and stink everywhere. <laughs> and the last train was pretty dirty. Yeah, but the bathrooms, dirty. the bathrooms on the, at the rest stops driving are pretty bad Unless too. Unless they're Safeway. Well, yeah, No, Safeway's... if they're Safeway, they're self-cleaning toilets. Uh, okay. They're amazing. <laughs> That's like the coolest part of German autobahns is those Safeway <laughs> toilets. I did a whole TikTok on it. I'll have to put it in right here. <laughs> We are done in Cologne and on our way home from Cologne to München and we take another train from München to our home and we're taking the ICE. It's really convenient this time, in fact even better than the first time because we don't have a stop in between Cologne and München, München because we don't have to stop and change trains, I should say, in between the two cities, which is really nice. And we're going really high speeds, so it makes our trip faster. So it's definitely better if you can get on the fast train, the ICE. Are there other trains in Germany that go really fast? I know the ICP does. This is saving us time. It's about four hours, five hours, from Cologne to München on the ICE. So that's really nice. I asked the kids what they thought about train travel versus car travel. They definitely like it better, especially on these trains that have a snack car. We can get up and get snacks and get drinks, get up and go to the bathroom. They have more space and they're more comfortable. They can really spread out their stuff more. So that's really nice. It seems that we made a faux pas when we booked our tickets here that we could have chosen our tickets but it was a tiny little link at the bottom and it's, you can only do it on the app, supposedly. There seems to be some confusion on how to actually book your seats. Many months in advance, I got many different answers on Instagram, so I'm honestly not sure. Okay, so here we are at the Deutsche Bahn website. I've already chosen the train stations and dates, so now I'm going to put in the number of passengers. So I choose the Mehr als Fünf reisende personen, which means more than five people. You'll see down below, you can choose first or second class. Now, before I recorded this, I also tried it with first class and got the same results that I'm going to show you here. Here, I can put in the number of passengers that are either Erwachsener or Kinder. So I'm going to choose this one for the Hinfahrt, which is the destination, and this one for the Rückfahrt or the return journey gonna pick this cheaper one here blah blah now we come to the spot where you can normally pick your seats and choose a place with a table or a family cabin aka abteil but it's grayed out I can't click on it I've done it over and over again with different dates and it never works for more than five people so I thought I'd ask you guys do you know what's going on is it possible for groups of six or more to be able to choose your seats and the Deutsche Bahn app, I wasn't even able to specify six or more people. The maximum number is five. You guys always have great solutions for us. How do you think we should book our next long distance trip? Can't wait to hear what you come up with. This was our very first long trip. So mistakes were going to be made, of course. Um, but yeah, I would say it's a successful trip and Everyone is saying they are glad we went by train as opposed to car. All right, guys. See you in our next video. Cheers. Cheers. So come back next week to see our incredible trip to Köln for the 200th anniversary of Carnival. It was truly a once-in-a-lifetime experience.